Okay, good morning. I'm Scott Palmer with Salt River Materials Group, and uh, we're standing here on the floor slab of our second Habitat for Humanity that we've sponsored up here in Sedona. With me is Michael Neiman, the CEO and president of Herkutech, uh, the inventor of the innovative Herkiwall system that you're seeing installed behind us. Typically a home like this is going to be stronger than wood frame construction. It has an insulation value of about R30, which means that your energy bills are going to be cut dramatically compared to con conventional frame construction. So the home is airtight, filled with concrete, or a portion of it, so it has to be very durable as well. Tell us about how these walls, these wall panels actually are put together. Each panel is in this home is built specifically for this home. We lay down a track, and the panels then are stood up in the track. All of the vertical reinforcing that's necessary actually takes place with a component that we call shear strip. So I see you're holding a, a sample of a herky wall section here. This is the component that grabs the concrete or the concrete grabs this component and, 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 and that replaces the rebar and, and forms a composite technology. With me is Rudy Trujillo, and he's the Director of Engineering. How's it going so far out here, Rudy? It's going pretty good. It's uh, going pretty smooth. We've been out here about two hours, and I say we're pretty much three quarters of the way done, or more than three quarters. So. so he said two hours, and if you look around, you see we basically have a home, minus a roof and uh, interior walls. What are we going to do next today? Well, next is putting on the top cap. You can see Brian over there. He's starting. It's about halfway through the house. And then Jeff is dropping rebar into the bomb beam, and after that, it's just uh, stringing it, make sure it's straight, and bring the concrete.